time now to check in with Mike Augustinek. A bright, sunny day, Mike. Esme, yeah, the uh, sunrise this morning following sunset last night, really, really beautiful. Let me share with you uh, this picture that came into photos at WCCO.com from Atwater. Terry sent this picture of sunset last night over Diamond Lake. Absolutely a stunner. And same from Quinn, who sent in this picture of sunrise over White Bear Lake this morning. It's these days where we have just a little bit of cloud cover out there that uh, reflects the sunlight as it goes down or comes up that really look beautiful. Did a little melting yesterday. Still a little bit of uh, slush in some of the shady spots to the east and southeast of the Twin Cities. We have been melting down northern Minnesota's snowpack very slowly, and that has been such a a perfect way that this spring has played out. If this snow had melted much more quickly, we could have had major flooding concerns. There are still flooding concerns, particularly in the Red River Valley, where we did get some snow toward the end of last week. But again, through much of this week, I think the meltdown is going to be almost perfect, what we call an orderly melt, which means, yes, warmer days, but temperatures that through the overnight will drop below freezing. 35 right now in Fargo, so starting to do a little melting there. 41, though, in the Twin Cities. I had mentioned 40s go all the way up to Bemidji. There are some patchy clouds around and there are more clouds starting to come in from the west. These should be mid and high level clouds and even though you see a little green and white on the radar, the air at low levels is dry enough that at least as of right now that's not reaching the ground. This little weak front will move through as we go through the next couple of days and that will bring us a chance for a few raindrops here or there. But really, I think most of the next couple of days will actually honestly end up being dry. And today really should be completely dry as we go hour by hour through the afternoon. Start noon at uh, 50 or so here in the Twin Cities, mid 50s from 3 o'clock through 6 o'clock. In between those two times, we should get up to about a, a high of 57 or 58. And then clouds start to thicken up as we go through the evening and especially overnight tonight. Uh, high temperature today, 58 in the metro area, 50s all the way up to Bemidji. Grand Rapids, Hayward, Wisconsin, a little cooler where that snowpack is a little bit thicker. And again, the clouds get thicker overnight tonight. So whereas we were in the teens Friday night to Saturday in the 20s to near 30 last night, tonight again will be about 10 degrees warmer than that overnight low near 43. It's possible we'll see a little bit of patchy drizzle around. I think there's a better chance as you can see here at uh, four in the morning for a few light passing showers in central and northern Minnesota. And then tomorrow, just generally a gray day again, maybe a passing sprinkle or shower, but fairly quiet. Storm system gets a little closer to us on Tuesday. That will bring a better chance for scattered showers to central and northern Minnesota. And there's a possibility as a cool front goes by mid to late morning here in the Twin Cities for a couple of rumbles of thunder, but skies will clear after that. Highs tomorrow in the 50s to lower 60s, and then from the Twin Cities south and east, 65 to 70 coming up on Tuesday. Winds will shift around to the west through the afternoon, so while we have a chance for storms in the morning, I think skies will clear for the afternoon and we should be dry. It'll be breezy Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday and Thursday, and that wind will start to feel cool as we go through that Thursday time frame as may only mid 40s for highs and we'll stay below average Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Next weekend looks a little unsettled. All right. Thank you, Mike.